Hi everybody, it's Kate here. Welcome to Kate Space. And I am just going to be making some of those expandable envelopes that I talked about the other day. Um, I want to make it to go on the back of this journal and I'm going to make two kinds. One out of one long piece of card, which in my case will be either a hanging or a manila file folder to get the length. And one out of scrapbooking paper, which is the one that's going to go in here. I'll give you, I'll show you what I mean. Is basically this this envelope or pocket, whatever you want to call it, that I've put in the back of this baby book. And if you open it up like this, it has the accordion at the sides, so it's really good for putting things in. You can actually bind it in, in which case you would make some another set of holes and bind it in as a page or a signature I guess so yeah that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be exciting I'll put that aside and I've got my paper this idea originally I I googled it because I wanted to make one and I found uh, Alice from Rosie journals on YouTube and she uh, talked about how to do it and so that's how I learned to do it she does it out of one big piece of paper, so this one I am working out myself. So, depending on the size of the journal that you want to put it in, I mean, it doesn't even have to go in a journal. It can just be a floating envelope, something useful, um, is how big you want it. Obviously, because this is 12 by 12, the longest it's going to be is 12 inches, but I want it to go this way, I think sideways do I or not no I don't I want it to go that way yeah so it needs to be the the height of my signatures that's how I like it and the height of my signatures in this book is going to be eight and a half so I'm going to cut it eight and a half It'll be really interesting to see how many mistakes I make during this but anyway we will just go with the flow. Right, there we go. Is that right? Yeah, so I'm gonna cut that eight and a half down like that. That leaves me a strip. And that's, that's gonna be my envelope. Right, yep. And then I'm going to fold, put a fold line half an inch here. And that's the flap that's going to fold over your little accordion pieces. So that's going there. So I'm going to just mark that like this. And that just makes it tidy, really. So I'll just mark that. So that's going to be that little foldy bit there. And then... And then, bear with, I'm going to fold it in half. Right, so I'm going to fold that up to there. So I might quite like to do a, how big is it? Mm, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. I'm not very good at So let's just fold there and then we'll pop that in one of those dents and we'll do a, I think that's about right. And we'll go down there. Hopefully that's straight. The bad feeling that's not going to be straight. How accurate is that feeling? We ask ourselves. Hmm, pretty accurate. Okay, never mind. So don't do that when you when you fold it. Get it right first time. That's okay. It, it's not going to. It's not going to be the end of the world. Okay, so there's my first part of my envelope. Now, what we don't have is the is the bit that comes up and over the top, and that's got a little it's got a little spiny thing on it. So you could use the same piece of paper, and I think I will. I think that'll be all right. But I think what I'll do is I'll turn it around the other way. So that I'm not trying to match up the pattern. Because I just think it'll look a bit odd. 
So it will probably go this way, I think, will it? Is that all right? Some people don't like things going sideways like that, but I don't really care. That's all, because this is all random and upside down and round the right way, so, yeah. So I'm going to use this piece. It's going to be cut to, what did I say, eight and a half. Eight and a half there. I actually think this is going to be a much smaller. Mm, I don't actually think that's going to be big enough. I think I need a bigger piece. Uh, no, I probably don't. No, or I can, we can make this work. So that is eventually going to be on there and it's going to come over. It doesn't need to be that much on the back. So that's where our first fold is going to go. So let's say what is that? Three quarters of an inch? No one. Two, yeah, let's make it three quarters of an inch. I don't know why I work in inches. New Zealand is metric, has been for ever. But I guess we're just super influenced by the, just there's a lot of American crafters, I guess. Right, so that's going to go there, and then what I want is another one, a quarter of an inch, and that's going to make the little spiny bit, so there's that one there, and then one, do I want it that wide? Yeah, that'll do, so there. Okay. Clear as mud, everybody, clear as mud, yay. Okay, so there we go. So that's, that's the lid, so to speak, <laughs> that goes in here, All right, so that gives it room to put lots of stuff in, and that's going to get glued, that's going to, that gunner, that's going to get glued there, and the only thing I've done, which I'm not that happy with, is I've, I've haven't folded that as well as I would have liked, so there's a, that gap there. So it's going to probably, yeah, that's okay. All right, and then I'm going to curve these corners. And now we need to make the, what do you call them, gussets, accordions, whatever you would like to call it. So again, we need a piece of paper that's going to go, card that's going to go in here and tuck under here. So from there to there, approximately long. So we need two bits of paper. So let's say five, oh my word. Oh, it's just so stressful measuring things. Five and just over five and a half. We'll go with that. And depending on how big you want your gussets, like these ones I did, it was huge. Huge, I say. There we go, look at that. They could fit in. Except for they go this way. They go this way. They go like that. And that closes over. So you could do them big like that, but I actually prefer, I think I think I like them, I think I think I like them like this, a bit smaller. Let me have a look in this one, see what I did. Yeah. I did them. That's so I'm gonna do them like that. So what card stock am I gonna use? I think I would just like to use something plain because you're not really gonna see them. I don't wanna 
to waste some of my nice, this is Stamperia, a Stamperia or Stamperia paper kit. So, what am I going to use? Oh, here we go. What about this? this that'll work. That's just like some cream parchmenty card. I think that's heavy enough too. So, what do we say? Just over five and a half by two. I think it's two inches. much does it and then we'll go five five and a half we'll go just over because we can always trim some off if we need to where's my pencil there wondering how everybody's doing out there in the big wide world crafting away making stuff I, did, I had a day where I did some exercise and I did a online yoga class, just a gentle one. And I went for a walk with the dogs and the next day I was in so much pain that I couldn't do anything for a couple of days. So yay, go me. But that's because I've got a I've got a dud knee. Right, so then you get your two inch pieces. And again, of course, you can make your gusset as huge as you want it to be. Um, so there, and then I just do the lines, I, um, what do you call it when you do this bone foldery thing? I just mark the folds on the scoreboard, score it, that's right, every half. Right, so that's that done. Okie dokie. Right, I'm just going to fold them. So just fold them concertina style. Apparently there's a proper way to fold once you've scored. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Not really too worried about that, to be honest. Okay. Yep. So these are going to pop in here. like like that right scissors um i guess i could take my pencil marks off oh and then it's just just smudged it really okay so then i just do a little diagonal line there i think this just to stop it making it so bulky so that one goes there, and then at this end, I just do the whole lot. Whoop. There's a whole lot of bits going everywhere. Yeah, so that little point. Oh, excuse me, in the wrong place, because that's going to go there, and you don't want that right jammed in. That's kind of like the file folder scenario. This is going to come over and it's actually going to hook over. It's going to hook over the... The first one there, like that. Is it? Oh, I can't even remember. I think this is going to be the worst video ever. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Okay, so let's just do that. So this one's going to go in here. I think I might just make it a little bit shorter. So I'm just going to take a little bit off there. Yeah, I think that's better. 
and then I'll do this one the same. So that's going there. Turn it over around that way and reverse it. I won't do that one, I'm going to do this one first. So there and there. And then I'm just going to go like this to match them up. I guess they should be the same. Again, you're hardly going to notice it because it's kind of hidden, but anyway. So that's that one, and that's this one. And then you glue them. Now, let's have a wee think. Do I need to ink it now, or can I do it later? I think I can do it later if I want to. You could sew it. I could sew right round. Hmm, I've never done that before. So yeah, you could sew all the way around it. Do I want to do that? Maybe. Yeah, I think I'll sew it. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So I've sewn around just with a zigzag. Quite like that, just with some quite neutral thread. Okay, so this is going to be the front of the envelope. Okay, so now I am going to get my glue. Um, I think I'm going to use my art glitter glue because I do want this to be quite strong. And I'm going to glue these in here. So yeah, we'll get the glue, whatever glue you want. glue that in there so you want your point near near to your fold but not right on it and then you want this to come up Ooh, wow this stuff this doesn't give you much wriggle room does it this art glitter glue wow okay there we go so that's that one done This one we're gonna glue that in same thing on the other this side so yeah just get that point just short of the crease so it's a little bulky down there and then and relatively even with the one across the way. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be perfect, I've decided. <laughs> okay, right, we're getting there. Now, let me just have a wee think about this before I glue anything else. Because I just want to make sure... I'm doing everything right. Not like me at all. Normally I just barge on ahead and then work out later that I've made a mistake. So, But that's all right. I think we can do the rest of this later. I will sew around there. I'll sew, yeah, I'll just sew there. I don't, I'm not binding this one in. I'm stitching it to the back. So um, it's fine that you can see that and... Right, I'm going to glue. First, I will trim my... I will trim my... Threads. Now, Daylight Savings finished, didn't it? Last night or early this morning at 2 o'clock. I just happened to be awake. So my clock, phone clock went back an hour. But it means it's going to start getting dark earlier. I always find I'm a little bit, always a little bit discombobulated at daylight savings. It takes me a while to get used to it. I know it's only an hour, but it's just like, I don't know why. And I just really wanted to say discombobulated because it's my favourite word. What can I say? 
it is one of my favorite words okay so this little flat that we made goes over the top there so i'm going to do that now too and that just makes it stronger i guess and neater so we're just gonna fold that over the little concertina bit on both sides oh it's come away there but it's okay we can don't know why that's done that anyway that's okay and then just press that down see my little concertina sticking out a little bit there I'm not not thrilled about that but um that's okay okay so this is how it's going to sit in the book now what we do is we are going to attach the lid but i am actually going to stitch it so i'm going to curl the uh what do you call it round the edges with my rounder mm, that didn't work very well oh there we go that's why there we go put it in right there we go that one okay i'll be back okay uh right so i'm back i've stitched around there And now all there is to do is glue this on. So just put glue on the back of here. Just for the, up to the crease. The first crease, obviously, not the second crease. Like I just did. <laughs> wow. And then get your envelope. Oh, that doesn't look like it's... to put the lid on oh, we want to be able to have a little bit of time to get this right so hopefully the art little glue is not gonna do what it normally does and that's pretty good the other thing that I probably should have done depending on how you wanted to close this is done that first done your closure first but um, I always forget to do that and sometimes I I don't know I kind of prefer to look at it and think about how I'm gonna do it I can still I mean I'm still happy to put a, a disc there with a brad in it and a disc there with a brad in it and do a string or do what I did in here which is just a brad with a a round circle that you flick it under anything anything will do so that's the first one can you bear any more that is the question <laughs> can you bear any more of my faffin right so that's the first one made with scrapbooking paper so you have to do it in two bits the other one out of a file folder is a little bit easier i think um or a manila folder for that matter because it's longer and I think we've got the length I think there's enough length in this one what did I say it had to be 15 yeah heaps so again depending on your book I guess I could make one for a different book oh I could make one for this book maybe I don't know if this will really suit one but anyway let's just pretend we're making it for this book so this is a fabric cover book that I'm working on at the moment and I've still got a little bit more stitching and things to do on it so yeah it's I've not done anything like this before so it's a little bit of a work in progress might end up with some more stuff on it might not I don't know so yeah so that's that so let's say we're making it for this one again we'll measure our depth of our book so say us the depth of this book is eight and one, two, three, four, five eighths. So again, I'll probably make my signatures probably eight and a half. 
little bit of a gap there and there. Yep, so eight and a half by six. Okay, so it's pretty much the same size as that one. Maybe I just measured it off that one. So eight and a half by six. Okay, so the difficulty is we can't cut. So we better to do our depth first, so the eight and a half. Eight and a half there. Right. Now the thing with this is it's already got some score marks on there. Oh, this is, I did this wrong last time too. Um, because you don't, you can't really make your lid there. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So that's going to be the bit I glue down because I don't want to see that. So that's my fold there. Is it though? Is it though? Let's cut this annoying bit off here. So six, six and six is 12 plus a an inch for the fold over that's 13 plus I might do a bit of a wider thing so here's one I've made played around with here and this would that fit in there yeah it would I would just probably make it a little bit longer there yeah, I'd probably make it a little bit longer, so. Let's work it out. Six and six is 12. So 12, and then we'll add half an inch for the, oh no, we're gonna add one inch, so that's 13. And then we're gonna have this bit here. So this bit here is two and a quarter. So that's 13, 14, 15 and a quarter, plus another quarter there, so it's 15 and a half. So 15 and a half, I'm going to ignore the fact that there's these scores here because that's not going to help me. Is it? What if we use one of those? What if we use that? So we folded it along there, that score line. And six is there, so that can be our fold over there. Excuse me. I'm gonna mark it, because I just really feel like I need to there. And there. So that's six. My desk is getting a little messy now. It's getting a little crazy in here. So sorry, I banged the camera. That's Probably quite annoying for you guys. Right, so say we're going to fold it there. I don't want to fold quite that much over, but that's okay because we can trim that. So that's the foldy bit. Here we go, we're getting there. And then we're going to go down here. board there um, up there. so that's obviously six again and then we want a little bit there So 
hold it on that first line there and on that second line there oh i don't like making these i don't know why it's like the file folders i like making those as well probably need to come up with something else to make really only want that to probably be about two and a half. Oh, don't do it like that, Kate. That was close. Oh, I bet you were yelling at me right then. So, two and a half there. Let's chop that little bit off there. Right, where are we at? Have we done it? Have I done it? Yes. It's okay. So, there you go. So basically you do, your envelope is going to be the width of your signatures times two, fold it over. You allow a little bit to tuck over the, con you know, the accordion bits and then you allow that much. So you can do it out of a file folder or if you, I mean, I'm sure you can get bigger pieces of cardstock at stationary places and things like that. So, um, yeah, you don't have to. Um, use file folders it's just what i had and as we all know we can't go shopping at the moment so we are definitely using what we have i used a lot of how i want that to be one inch don't i i used a lot of glue the other day making making something or repurposing something it's like oh my gosh i am so terrified i'm gonna run out of glue <laughs> It could be, it's not the worst thing that could happen, but it was, it's quite up there. Quite up there. Right, there we go. Now, and again, we're going to do our concertina pieces. And, of course, we've got some scraps here. almost do them that way but I'm going to do them that way so I'm going to make them just under six okay I'm just going to put the scoreboard away because it's really oh no I'm not because I need it again <laughs> oh boy Maybe maybe this this video won't actually make it to uh, <laughs> should we make it five and should we make it that much shorter? Yeah, we will. That's what I'm gonna do. We do it like that, and then we made them two inches. So let's cut one piece and two pieces. This is the last time I'm using this. Oh my gosh, the noise. The noise, the crashing and the banging. All right. One. So every half inch, approximately. Or every centimetre. I mean, it just, yeah. I mean, hell, it doesn't matter. You just do it. You just adapt it how you want it. It's just the general idea. Excuse me, I'm just adjusting my chair there. Right, now, again, this bit. My sister and I have been doing, as you know, quite a few things together. And one of the things we've been doing is, it's like an art journal channel that... Rachel from Roxy Creations is doing and I think it's called the Marguerite Miller Challenge um, and I haven't done anything like that before and Joe was keen so I said oh yeah let's just, just let's give it a go so we've been doing that and I've been really enjoying that because it's it's basically has no purpose it's just art which is great it's a great thing to do 
and yeah I really love that and the other day um, we do watch quite a lot of Rachel from Roxy Creations we do like her and the stuff that she makes she did some embroidery on some little snippets that she made oh, so adorable so of course next thing we know we're learning how to embroider so I'm sure I've been taught it in the past before a long long time ago but so that's what we did today we made snippets and we are going to embroider them in front of the television when we're pretending to watch movies with our partners <laughs> oh that's so rude but yeah no so yeah embroider them in front of tv because that's something you can just work you know work away at while you're watching television I get quite bored quite easily watching TV these days. I don't know why. It just doesn't really interest me. So to have something to do is great. Right, so I'm just going to do the old snippage here and here again. And then I think I'll yeah try and make them the same. So my laptop battery died the other day and I had to take it to the the computer doctor which thankfully is an essential service so that's where it is and so I can't mirror my screen so I have no idea what you're seeing no <laughs> not that it made that much difference when I did know what you were seeing what you were seeing because I was still off camera I've marked I have done some marks on my mat to make it mess me a little bit oh dear it's all blocked up make me a little bit better so hopefully that will mean that I am oh it's quite a lot of glue squidge give that a bit of a squidge Right. Ah, I think I've done that round. Oh no. No, oh, that's right. There's our bend. Pop that in there. Oh, wow, that's gluey as. Um, yeah. So near there, and then up to there. I might do it quite so close to the edge this time because the other one I think poked out a little bit. I don't even know if I'll use this one for anything, but anyway, it's, um, I'm sure I will. I'll probably spray it with some coffee or tea and decorate it up. Or I could even do a bit of a, do some gesso, a bit of Artie Maze. Andrea from Artie Maze always does a great job with her gesso. Try and make that even at the top. Hmm, this one's way further up. Hmm. Put that in there. I'm not quite sure why they're different. Anyway. Again, like I said, you're not gonna you're not really gonna know. I haven't sewn this one. Oh, wow, that didn't work, did it? Wow, took too long, too long, too much faffing, too much faffing around with the old positioning of the whatever this is called. Man, I still can't get that right, can I? Here we go. Let's just shove it in. There we go. It's done. There, and then. Just double check that that's going to work. That's going to tuck in there and there. Sorry. No, no. Yep. Let's just do it. I'm just going to put some glue on here. Whoa, 
That's quite a lot again. That's what I did last time. Get my glue right. Um, maybe this needs a little smaller hole, this one. I'm using, like, because I said I'm running out of glue, I'm using all sorts of different glues at the moment just to make everything last and use what I've got. So, yeah, there we go. Let's just get the glue down in there. Tummy's grumbling. It must be coming up dinner time for us, I think. And the dogs were whining before. So, oh wow, that hasn't that has not stuck down. It's really concerning. It'll be interesting if this falls to pieces. Oh no, this glue's not so crash hot. I guess that's the good thing about trying different glues is you soon learn what you really like and what works for you and what doesn't. Yeah, that is coming apart. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, let's just carry on. There we go. So this is very boring, office-y looking. Um, but, hmm. I wonder if this has had, I get, I have had a lot of sun into my room so I wonder if that has anything to do with or maybe it is just me taking too long to glue things down again I will corner around this one There we go, that's it. And then you pop it in the back of your book. If you were going to bind it in, obviously you would not do all this bit, would you? You'd do that after you'd bound it. I haven't bound one in yet. I have bound other envelopes in to my journals, but yeah, so there you go, and then it sits there like that, and you can put lots of stuff in it if you want to. I use them in the baby journals because often people collect a lot of memorabilia and paraphernalia around having a baby, and my travel journals, I also put it in for people to collect bits and bobs and, and stick it in. Um, yeah, so that's what I use them for. So there we go, one. done so yeah thanks for watching thanks if you stuck with me i hope you're all well and taking care thanks hanging thanks for hanging out with me as i make these i hope you'll have a go and if you do i'd love to know i'd love to see pictures you can find me um on facebook kate's pixie k designs at kate space and on instagram pixie k designs so yeah take a picture and tag me or or show me i'd love to see what you make Hope you make them, pop them in your journals. But yeah, handy for lots of things. If you think of any great ideas to do with them, again, let me know. I hope you like them. Thanks for spending time. Have a great day or night, whatever time it is for you in your part of the world. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.